Hi, my name is Deb Johnston and welcome to Women Reinventing Midlife TV, where we aim to inspire you, the woman over 50, to thrive in a meaningful life that you deeply desire and deserve. And today I'm going to be sharing three simple tips to help you start finding clarity on a new career or a change of career that you're wanting right now. As we enter our 50s, then we often tend to lose interest in a career that we used to love or really used to enjoy. For some reason, it just doesn't do it for us anymore. Now, it can be linked to a significant event like our kids leaving home or the loss of parents or the loss of a relationship. It can even be caused by experiencing burnout, which a lot of women menopause and postmenopause experience. It could just be that you're feeling a calling to do something else, but you don't know yet what that something else is. And I hear from so many women that there's a feeling of a loss of drive and a loss of motivation. You know that you want to do something else, but you've got no idea where to start looking. And many women have described it as a complete blank. They don't see anything at all. So the three tips I'm going to share with you today are going to give you that starting point to begin to gain some clarity around what you might want to do for your work in your next chapter. So you're going to need a notebook book a, or a journal and a pen and somewhere private and quiet that you can spend some time in all by yourself with no distractions, no disturbances. Um, so you're going to have time to explore this. The first tip is to figure out what you enjoy. It might sound simple, but it's not always easy. I suggest that you start with the job that you're doing now. Or if you're not in work now, if you're not doing any work at the moment, then start with the last job that you had. And even if it's um, you've been a mother for 20 years, you can do this with your work as a mother because being a full-time mum for 20 years is a full-time job. So really think about the aspects of that role that you particularly enjoy. And even if you're ready to leave the job and you've had enough of it, there's going to be certain aspects that you do enjoy. And I know for me in the past, whenever I've left a job, then there's always, been, I've been ready for the to leave, but there's always been certain aspects that I've missed. And it'll be the same for you. There's going to be certain things in the work that you're doing now that you do enjoy. And this is a great place to start exploring. Then when you've done that, when you've done that, then start to look at other roles that you've had, other jobs that you've had, and the things that you've enjoyed there, the things that really lit you up or you got excited about doing, or you just felt a contentment or a fulfillment doing. Now, it could there could be anything. It could be teamwork that really fires you, or it could be the fact that you get to spend a little bit of time alone every, do, every day doing work on your own. It could be that you get to be creative, or it could be that you'd like a specific task or you love working in process or it could be a whole number of things it could even be that you love the flexibility of timing that you're not rigid with certain start times and finishing times now that's a simple one but it is still important so it's about figuring out what it is for you that you particularly like in the job that you're in now and any job and role that you've had in the past now remember when you start to ask these questions they're not going to come straight away the answers won't come straight away the answers might take a while. You might get two answers and then nothing. But what I want to say here is don't give up. Don't just stop at the two answers because there's going to be more. It's about maintaining awareness and being aware when the answers do come and start adding them to your list. So you, you need to start writing a list of things that you enjoy. The second tip, the second tip is to figure out what you don't enjoy. Now, this is often an easier place to start because this is the way human beings are naturally wired. We're wired to look for the problems and that includes the things that we don't like 
or the things that we don't enjoy. And if you find it easier to start with this step, then I encourage you to start with this step. There's nothing wrong in it. There's nothing negative about it. It's really to help you get clear because the more you're clear on what you don't enjoy, the clearer that you can then be on what you do enjoy. It gives you some indicators of the things that you enjoy. So start this again with the job that you're in now, or if you're not working at the moment in the last job that you were in, start looking at the things that you didn't enjoy, the things you didn't like, the things that frustrated you, the things that you would have liked to have changed, but you couldn't change. Look at the things that you didn't enjoy in the current role or your last job, and then start to reflect back afterwards on all the other jobs and roles that you've done and the things that you might have not enjoyed in those as well. It gives you, it starts to give you some clarity on what you do want, what you're looking for in your next job or your new next career or even in a new business if you want to start one. And before we go into the third tip, I want to remind you that it's wonderful when all women support each other. And I really want to work on bringing more videos like this to you so to help you gain more clarity, to help you gain direction and to really thrive in this stage of life. So remember that if you find this video helpful to give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also most importantly is to subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button underneath and clicking the bell for notifications so you don't miss out and that third tip that third tip is to figure out who you are now there's probably no more important time than when we're over 50 to really figure out who we are now because being fulfilled in our career really begins with getting clear on who we are now because a fulfilling career is when we're using our strengths. It's when we are, when our qualities and attributes are valuable to the role that we're in. It's when the work that we're doing is in full alignment with our values. That's when we feel lit up from the inside. That's when we feel inspired and motivated about our work. But it begins by getting clear on who we are now. And I have to say this, one of the big reasons women burn out through working in this phase of life is because their work no longer aligns with their values. This is a really big one. And many women that I've worked with have this really big epiphany and understand, start to understand that the work that they've been doing hasn't been is no longer in line with their values. Maybe the business or the company that you're working for has changed the way they do things, their value set has changed, or your values might have changed too. And there's no longer alignment there. So it begins with getting clear on who you are now. And that means asking very simple questions like, who am I now? Who am I now? What makes me me? What lights me up? What are my qualities? What motivates me? What drives me? What are my strengths? What do I value and why? Now, this isn't a five-minute job. This takes time. For me personally, it took me about three months to gain this kind of clarity for myself because we're no longer the person we were 10 years ago we're not even the same person we were five years ago so it's important to get clear on who we are now because as life changes we change too and having that foundational knowledge about ourselves helps us make this important choice around what we want to do for work in our next chapter. So I encourage you to do that. And it's so, so important that we do work that lights us up from the inside, because in this stage of life, we want to do work that energizes us instead of drains us. And that's why I developed the group program, Her Rediscovery. And I will put some details about this program in the description notes underneath this video so remember to click on the word more and you'll be able to look into what that program is all about
So just to recap those three tips, number one is to get clear on what you enjoy. Number two is to figure out what you don't enjoy. And number three is to figure out who you are now. And remember to stick with this. All of the answers don't come straight away. Like I said, it took me personally three months when I started this self-exploration process. Be aware, stay aware, go back to it, keep doing the work, make sure you're in a space where you're not going to be disturbed and do this work and make sure that you do this work until you get your answers because this is your time for you to do work that lights you up from the inside and to feel fulfilled and really thrive in this stage of life. Now, remember, if you found this video helpful, to give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, because this is helpful for all of us in this stage of life. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out. Thank you for joining me. I trust that you found this helpful and I'll look forward to connecting with you next time. Lots of love to you. Bye-bye.